How do you express yourself creatively? Today on The Express, we have the artist perspective on life and love. On today's show, this jacket is a definite must have. A West Coast style. I love it. I love the people. I love the West Coast style. The music scene, how the boom booms are breaking the mold. We're just a clan of guys that love what we do and do what we love. We've actually seen girls not be friends anymore after being a bridesmaid. The wedding bells, see what happens when someone says, I don't. I should have been a nurse. And two, and three. The dance world, Xbox Studio and White Rock's next big step. Very edgy, it's always um, challenging the norm. See that and more local expression. Welcome to The Express, only on Shaw TV. I'm Johanna Ward. Today we're hosting from Cityscape Community Art Space in North Vancouver and their current exhibition, Patterns, Hard and Soft. A great example of the many angles on creativity we're taking on today's show. We also have music and fashion and dance. We're heading to Expo Studios in White Rock where they teach a style of dance you won't find anywhere else. <laughs> going to do things that haven't been done before. Nice. Nella is the director of Expo's new professional troupe, Discordance. It's, it's quite magical. It's a very, very group of dancers, five dancers from completely different styles. It's not just their styles that are different, but also their life experiences. The dancers range in age from 19 to mid-30s. Dancer Janessa sees their differences as strengths. It's nice because everyone has different strengths, so you, you know, we kind of can learn from each other. What else fuses them so seamlessly as a group? They credit working with Nella. She has the perfect balance between being really sensitive and caring and sort of motherly, and then also that sort of like, this is what I want, and sort of that leader role too. And I think that's really hard to find in, in a choreographer, in a director. Discordance is about pushing boundaries in dance and in the dancers. We do a lot of like uh, freestyle contemporary movement and that never something I'm usually told what to do <laughs> and then I'm like okay I can do it right once you're told but being creative in your own mind like I said I love listening to Nella and she can kind of tell you how to move. That flexible approach developed over Nella's many years of training. Well I'm, I'm an old ballerina so I started with the old Russian method, the Vaganova method, very strict and regimented and painful literally. She discovered contemporary dance in her 20s and went on to create her own ex boss style. It's very edgy, it's always um, challenging the norm a little bit, always walking a fine line, not knowing not to cross it, and so on. Nella's school also offers classes for all levels. The school is strict, but safe. We train our dancers hard. It's boot camp, but they're built like athletes. And in the case of discordance, athletes who perform. They're all my babies. They're all my daughters. They're all amazing. Um, and the reason for discordance is to provide these, these ladies, amazing performers, with a working job, a paying job, and a performing job. A dancer's dream come true, whatever side of the stage you're on. I honestly believe that it's, that it's in everyone. It's a natural instinct for humans to dance, to move. Um, to have the ability to do it on a daily basis is the greatest gift. It really is. The inaugural performance of Discord Dance happens in May 2012. In the meantime, contemporary lyrical extreme ballet. You can sign up for that and more at expa.ca. So Metro Vancouver, known for its cutting edge dance scene, it's also been making the fashion pages. On today's West Coast style, Mana Mansour is sitting down with the Canadian fashion icon, Jeannie Becker, to talk about our local fashion scene of today and tomorrow. Pacific Center's West Coast Style is brought to you by Pacific Center. The West Coast is one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and I'm on the hunt to make sure that the people here look just as good as where they live. 
I'm Mana Mansoor, and I'm a lifestyle journalist searching for the most cutting edge fashion and beauty hotspots, deals, and tips, all in our own backyard. I'll do the shopping so you don't have to. This is West Coast Style. Apparently, the word is that Prince is coming to the show. Okay, Prince, we didn't get a sound bite. She's one of the most iconic Canadians on television, connecting us to the glamorous world of fashion for over two decades. Fashion television host Jeannie Becker has spent the last 26 years giving viewers her take on the world's most famous fashion lines. We always get excited for Chanel. But now, it's her line that's the topic of discussion. Jeannie was recently in Vancouver to promote her fall winter collection of her line Edit, exclusively at the Bay. I had the chance to talk with Jeannie one-on-one -on -one about her new role as fashion brand ambassador. How does it feel to be back in Vancouver? Oh, I love Vancouver. I love Vancouver. I think I really fell in love with this town during the Olympics. Of course, I had the luxury of being out here for like a month. And I, I just, uh, I love it. I love the people. I love the West Coast style. The fall winter 2011 collection of Edit marks the line's third season. Edit has maintained being affordable and accessible, as seen at a public fashion show in Vancouver hosted by Jeannie. I, I never would ever, ever, ever think of myself as a designer. What were your original goals with Edit, and do you think you've achieved them? Yeah, and I think I'm, you know, achieving them of all the time, and obviously there's so many more directions that we can grow in, but first and foremost, it was um, a, a way of really having a great dialogue with women. That's what I feel like I'm doing with Edit, because these are my picks. These are the pieces that I wear. This is jacket is a definite must-have. There's a big focus right now to incorporate luxury brands. How important is it to keep your line that base point for accessibility for everybody? I really don't think that style necessarily has to cost a lot. What's so wonderful about fashion today is it's been so democratized that it doesn't have a, a lot to do with spending a lot of money at all, at all, at all. Jeannie Becker also wanted to give back to the community through her line. Five dollars from every pair of edit jeans goes to the charity Dress for Success. Success. You've been involved with so many charitable organizations over the years, and you had quite a lot to choose from. Why specifically Dress for Success for Edit? I thought it was really important to choose a cause that really was essentially about fashion and the way fashion can empower someone. And so that's what Dress for Success does. It provides women with clothes to make them, you know, really put their best foot forward. Jeannie has traveled to the most glamorous and fashion-forward cities in the world, but still thinks our fair city of Vancouver does have style. You know, you walk down the streets here and there's some very chic looking people. You know, you've got a pretty sophisticated restaurant scene and some very swank hotels. And, you know, I, I see people out and about uh, looking, you know, incredibly chic. Now for our style tip of the week, courtesy of Jeannie Becker. To be fashion forward, Jeannie advises... Making brave choices, being creative, um, mixing things up in interesting, innovative ways, and stepping a little bit outside of your comfort zone sometimes. Thanks, Jeannie. I'm Mana Mansoor for West Coast Style. Pacific Center's West Coast Style has been brought to you by Pacific Center. Jeannie Becker's fall and winter collection of Edit is available at all Bay locations, including her line of jeans, which also raises money for Dress for Success. You're watching The Express, and we've got the wedding bells, plus these stories coming up. After the break, East Van's booming world music scene. It's all about getting people moving. We play uplifting, happy music that people can move to of any age. Your club head speed, 80 miles an hour. Surrey's latest golf green. As soon as you hit it, you can look over at the TV monitor. You're watching local TV on the Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.